comment about today's rally. In some ways, a rally is a really silly thing. I mean, it's a bunch of people who all get together and say, yeah, I agree, I agree. <laughs> but it's also a physical demonstration of our concerns. It's a physical demonstration of our aspirations. Today, we're not rallying in opposition yeah, to something. Yeah. We're, this is an aspirational rally. We are rallying to aspire to what we want the world to be, to how we as clinicians and physicians and scientists and respiratory therapists and nurses, what we are doing to make the world a better place. We don't rally today because we want to. We rally today because we have to. There are political forces in our world today that we find deeply troubling. Um, what was once considered extreme now seems to become normalized. We rally because truth and facts and science. Just tell me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. When you're prompting with, we hold our government, you respond with, accountable. Let's try that again. We hold our government. When you're asked what cures disease, you answer? Science. All right. So together, perhaps, we can come to the podium to answer why we rally. Thank you. So I have two comments before I read what Gary asked me to officially read. So the two comments are, one, my white coat is indeed on my desk at work. And this like, isn't that kind of dad's thing, a rally? Like, what are you doing? So... It's a good thing Gary got you psyched so you know that when I say something, you're supposed to see. really been amazing. Yeah, Gary. Um, <laughs> hi, Gary. Um, it's, it's really great to see all of you here. I'm um, most impressed that you made it and that it isn't raining, so outstanding. It turns out that since its inception in 1905, the American Thoracic Society has consistently advocated for policies to support lung health, to support science, and support the patients we serve. While we've been around for more than a hundred years, to our knowledge, this is actually the first time we've ever had a rally anywhere, let alone on Capitol Hill. And I hope this is the first of many, because I think there are a lot of different opportunities for us to really speak out. Some of you may be wondering what brings us here today. We rally today because we share a growing anxiety that science in general, and our field in particular, is being dismissed in the halls of power. We rally because we are watching public debates on a wide range of vital topics being led by politicians who often proudly proclaim their disdain for scientific fact. This includes critical issues such as climate change, health care, and research funding. We rally because the highest elected officials in the land think that scientific weight of evidence on climate, on vaccines, on air pollution, on research funding can be blithely dismissed as mere inconvenience. We rally because we worry. Most Americans. For too long, we let politicians lead voters astray with the false choice between protecting our environment or growing the economy. In fact, a strong economy and a healthy environment are symbiotic. We expect the public to fund our research endeavors, but we fail to explain to them accountability. So join me today in saying we, held our, we hold ourselves accountable. So we hold ourselves accountable. Right. So to protect our nation from the threat of disease, we hold Congress and the CDC accountable. To support science that improves all our lives, we hold Congress and NIH accountable. To protect our nation's youth from nicotine addiction, we hold Congress and the FDA accountable. To, um, to provide health insurance to all Americans, we hold Congress accountable. To and the EPA the resources they need to do their vital work, we hold Congress accountable. I say to Congress and the White House, from all of us, be on notice. We will hold you and... Thank you, Dr. Parsons. Um, next, I'd like to invite... To In fact, just today, um, former Earth... Doesn't that mean we're going to be having more people... mean more asthma attacks? Doesn't that mean... Thanks, Gary. Please remain standing. <laughs> from Columbus, Ohio, I went to Ohio State. And I found, later on, I found it was uh, more. And I uh, used to live in California. Anybody here from California? Woo! Oh, good, good for you. You guys are uh, 
tireless and a great inspiration to me. He'll be out there next week just to just to visit. Got a son. Uh, anybody from uh, Virginia? Anybody from Virginia? Grew up in Danville, Virginia. Went to Ohio State. Anybody actually been to Delaware? Yeah. Yeah. Well, not just like went gone through and paid the toll on I-95 yeah. or State Rule One. You got out and took advantage. And uh, we have uh, in Sussex County, Delaware, so the most county, four five-star beaches in Sussex County, Delaware, than any state. Literally shut down the state. I could have every car off the road, every truck off the road. Blows over us at the end of America's tailpipe. And uh, I, uh, anybody here ever hear the Golden Rule? Yes, yes. <laughs> A lot of times, the idea we ought to do right, not what was easier, expedient, but do right and treat other people the way we want to be treated. And uh, why should we, at the end of America's tailpipe? have to go through all, all kinds of hopes and, and everything in order to try to reduce our emissions from people off to the west of the of the escalation of thoracic society, the American thoracic society members, or the rally, and I've been to rally for uh, the so issues that present the association here, and the I senator accept. from Delaware is addressing the rally at this moment. I accept for Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> I accept for Joe Biden. Yeah. 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 The president gave us his budget today, and uh, you're going to be surprised, you're going to be surprised. The, uh, how about sci funding for science? Pretty good? No. How about funding for NASA? Pretty good? No. How about funding for the uh, Department of Energy, for energy research? Pretty good? No. Uh, why? Science. It's called Philadelphia. Yeah. Philadelphia is sort of, anybody from PA here? Anybody from PA? Okay. <laughs> Philadelphia is a bedroom community of Wilmington, Delaware. In fact, when William Penn came to this country 300 and some years ago, he started my church, and uh, that's where he, uh, he, he landed. And William Penn brought with him the uh, deed to what is now Pennsylvania and to Delaware, and we were appended to, to one another. On June 15, 1776, three appendants from the tyranny of the British throne. And uh, when they went up uh, in uh, Philadelphia about 12 years later, and they negotiated the three branches of government. They didn't agree on who should appoint the judges. They didn't agree what the judges should do. Okay. But the one thing they uh, agreed on, they did not. This country, <laughs> when Joe and Barack were running, I led cheers all over uh, America for Joe Obama. And uh, that would have been that would have a pretty good hybrid there. But pretty, sometimes it's a uh, difficult way uh, to govern. And what did Winston Churchill say? Winston Churchill used to say these words. Democracy is the worst form of government. Devised by wit of man, except for all the rest. Think about it. British people were and still are. And uh, so he knew that we were, he, uh, but he used to love to poke fun at, at our country. After trying everything else, fortunately we have the Constitution. And I hope you take some, uh, some consolation and joy in the fact that when we had a chance to hear through the end of uh, se this September, uh, we uh, did we uh, eliminate uh, a third of all the jobs that. Uh